Different planet. Couldn't understand. Need to get an interpreter. Uh, David Clark, Mr Speaker. Uh, thank you for this opportunity to speak. Labor does support this bill, uh, we should say. There, there are um, plenty of reasons why we would want to support it. The, the general principle of supporting customs and other border agencies on the front line is something hard to disagree with. But I want to uh, pick up some of the points uh, Mr Williamson raised and also uh, Mr Goff before him, uh, because I too have had people express concerns uh, to me about the customs system and its adaptability. And I guess the test will come uh, in the next the days concern? because uh, the, this work is supposed to become available in early April. So uh, we will all be, well, according to the, uh, the regulatory impact statement here, uh, the 15-year-old the system uh, for customs and biosecurity uh, has a process uh, which is uh, underway in terms of um, re repairing things. And if I can read uh, for the member, the, the JBMS system has been approved to address these issues and will be delivered in two tranches, the first being in November 2009, uh, and the, the second uh, planned, or tranche one, planned to be available by 1 April 2013. Ah, this is a year ago, as I read it more closely, uh, after pilot testing. So these things are supposed to be already in place. There's obviously been a bit of slippage since this regulatory impact statement uh, was issued. So. Uh, it would be appreciate from the Minister an update on timelines because um, we're told that this legislation is enacting it, but we're told in the, in the regulatory impact statement it's all to be implemented. And, uh, and, and there are in there some references, if the Minister refers back, to some of the challenges uh, that are being faced by those border agencies and the costs of upgrading the system. So uh, welcome any comment, further comment from the Minister on that. And, and we know that there's this track record of IT systems uh, that haven't worked under this game, government. We've seen the ACC privacy breaches. Um, the minister himself referred to Novapay. Uh, and in the IRD, the agency with which I'm most familiar, um, we've had $50 million spent in the last year on international consultants to get to in principle agreement that there's a problem. And it's the same problem uh, that this government was informed about when they took office five years ago. The department has known for years it's been a problem why they needed to spend $50 million on international consultants to tell them there was a problem and that they needed to spend some more money on consultants to develop some business cases to show how the problem should be addressed is beyond those of us on this side of the House. IT systems are bugging this government. This government does have a track record with uh, these kind of privacy breaches. They're in the, the, uh, in, in the Inland Revenue as well. There's been stories uh, each year about the number of privacy breaches, and in fact they've gone up nearly 400 per cent in the last year uh, in the IRD, the number of privacy breaches. So to say there isn't a concern here about technology beggars belief. Uh, when Mr Goff uh, has sources, and, and uh, m uh, I also have had the same concerns raised with me, Mr Goff, um, I'm more inclined uh, to accept your view of events on these things than a member opposite representing a government that has a track record, an appalling track record, with the implementation of, of um, IT systems. Uh, so perhaps Mr Williamson can update us on the, on the timeline and, and the uh, addressing of these issues because this will be of concern to New Zealanders who are worried about our borders. Um, the, the cuts in biosecurity, monitoring, clearance, um, clearance and so on are, are putting our borders at risk and other speakers have referred to some of the things uh, that have happened as a consequence. Sophisticated um, computer software will enable border agencies to identify relationships between T people and goods by linking travel and trade data and so on. We approve of the principle of it. It really is the implementation uh, that is the thing in question and, and the timelines around that, the timeframes. But I guess uh, the proof, uh, Mr Speaker, will be in the pudding. Reno Terracatney. Oh, thank you, uh, Mr Chair.